Hi everyone, it's Serena and I'm back to talk about the Jane Goodall Institute UK. The Jane Goodall Institute is an incredible global organization that promotes understanding and brings the power of community-centered conservation to life. We had the great privilege of talking with Jane Goodall about their conservation work and the project that will benefit from our crowdfunding campaign on Indiegogo. This is the Chimp Eden Project, which was established in 2006 to provide a safe environment, care and enrichment for orphan chimpanzees and is the only chimpanzee sanctuary in South Africa. So Dr. Jane Goodall, it's now almost 60 years uh, since you began your pioneering work with chimpanzees. Looking back, what do you consider to be your most important achievements? When it comes to studying chimpanzees and that part of what I've done, I think the, the tool using and tool making was highly significant simply because at that time scientists believed that humans and only humans used and made tools and because I saw chimpanzees using grass stems uh, to fish termites and then leafy twigs so they had to modify them remove the leaves or the side twigs you know I think that that was very very significant to be able to help people understand we are not the only sentient beings on the planet, the only beings with personalities, minds and emotions. What advice would you give to a young person today who wants to have a career in animal conservation? The best thing, if it's possible, is to take a gap year and volunteer, for example, in one of the sanctuaries looking after orphaned animals or a program where they can actually go out into the field and make sure that that's really what they want to do. And then if that's what they really want to do, then if they do what my mother told me, if you really want this thing, you're going to have to work really hard, take advantage of every opportunity. And then if you don't give up, I'm sure you'll find a way. Now, we know that chimpanzees are our closest cousins now, which we didn't before, and they share about 98, 99% of their, our genes. Looking back, though, when did you first recognise this close connection and in what way was it evident? When I got into the field, I mean, kissing, embracing, holding hands, patting one another, same context we do it in. The males competing for dominance, swaggering, bristling, furious face, shaking their fists upright, reminding me of a number of human politicians named No Names. And the long-term family bonds I gradually got to understand between mothers and their offspring. They have a dark side, like we do. They're capable of violence, even a kind of war, but also love, compassion, and true altruism when one individual will help another, even though that individual is not genetically related, as far as we know. Well, now, the TV drama series, Nariko's Voyage, produced by Max Robinson, has an animated chimpanzee called Aristotle as a yeah. co-star. And as you know, the idea is to raise money for your institute, the Jane Goodall Institute in the UK. How do you feel about this news? And is there a particular project you'd like to support with this money? Well, first of all, I feel immensely grateful because we're always needing money for our various projects in Africa, our you know, pro pro project with young people in the UK and our sanctuaries. So to have a company that's dedicating profit to us is fantastic news. It's also showing a confidence in us, which wouldn't be there if we weren't doing a good job. So I think it, it sort of boosts your morale a bit. And as for the project, we support a chimpanzee sanctuary for orphaned and confiscated chimpanzees in South Africa. These chimpanzees are confiscated from people who think they make good pets or confiscated from the illegal wildlife trade. Chimpanzees are very susceptible to res respiratory diseases. And so every effort had to be taken to keep them safe. And that meant a lot of extra unbudgeted for money. Dr. Jane Goodall, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much. Well, great talking to you as well. Thank you so much.